We're trying to rewild our place and fill it with wildflower meadows, but that's thrown up some surprisingly large problems to overcome. The biggest of all is how to cut the grass. Getting to grips with no mow may has been a nightmare. We've gone from this to this and finally to this. When we lived in London, we had a little terrace garden, so a fly mow was fine for the job and it only took a few minutes every now and then. But since we've now got acres of meadow in Devon, we've had to upgrade to a ride-on mower. And even then, it took hours every week in the summer. And it gave us a big problem we hadn't seen coming. What to do with all the cut grass? And there was a lot of it. There was, yeah. If you want to encourage wildflowers in your meadows, you can't leave cut grass lying around as mulch because that creates nitrogen, and which enriches the soil, and wildflowers will only grow in poor soil. So we had to collect it all up, and acres of meadow creates acres of cut grass. Soon we had huge mountains of the stuff mouldering away all over the place, each one turning into a pile of green sludge. Lovely. We tried composting it, but nobody needs that much compost. And anyway, grass has to be used sparingly in compost, so that too turns into the dreaded green sludge. We tried drying it out and burning it, but grass is really smoky stuff, and our huge bonfire soon filled the local valley with smoke. Sorry, neighbours. We'd run out of possible solutions. What were we going to do with it all? Then the answer finally dawned on us. Just stop cutting the grass. We decided to leave it to grow long as part of our rewilding project. We would turn no mow may into no mow at all. This would promote wildflowers and other meadow plants, improve the habitat for voles, mice and other mammals, and that in turn would increase the likelihood of owls, buzzards and other birds of prey. So we stopped mowing the whole place and instead just cut paths through the grass. It looked fantastic at first. Swathes of long grass gently billowing in the breeze. Romantic paths winding their way through. But as autumn arrived, the grass got too long and when the winds and gales started, it flattened it all into a really unsightly mess. Then an even bigger problem dawned on us. How on earth were we going to cut it? Our ride-on mower was great for mowing lawns, but it wasn't up to this job. At one point we blew it up with smoke billowing out because it just couldn't cope. What could we do? We thought about getting some scythes and cutting it that way, but there are over two acres of meadow and that seemed like really hard work. We suspected our grim reaper antics would only show up <laughs> the fact that we didn't know how to use one. And then salvation arrived in the form of a friendly local farmer. He agreed to use his tractor to cut the grass and in return he could keep the hay for his livestock. Good deal. It took a few days. First he came and cut the grass with his tractor. Then it was left for a few days to dry out before he came back with a different attachment on his tractor to turn the hay and help it to dry. Then, after another few days, he came back with a baler. The farmer got to keep the bales as payment. We got to sit on them for a while first. And they looked great standing in the meadows. We're trying to rewild our place and fill it with wildflower. Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> 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 <laughs>